Hi! In this little chapter I want to show you how you can make a nice studio for painting with encaustic. And it doesn't have to be tricky, difficult or expensive. This is my little place. In our house, just a piece of the porch. And here you can see my table. And it's a high table because I like to stand up when I'm painting. It gives me a much better working position so I can reach out and paint whatever I want. And at the left side I have my hot plate. And that is something you have to have when you're painting with acoustic. I'm going to talk about different kind of hot plates, what they cost and where you can buy them. And as I told you I have my hot plate on my left side because I'm painting with my right hand so it's easier to have the jars at the left side. Some people have the hot plate in the center and of course you can have that. Just try how it works but I find it much easier to have it at the left side of my working table. And a thermometer. You have to have that when you're painting with encaustic. I'm going to talk more about that later. And more about the working space. I like to have my tools in front of me. Of course you can have them somewhere else but it's easy to reach. And oil colors. I use oil colors to color my encaustic medium. I mix some of my colors directly on my hot plate. I'm going to show that later. And then the surface. You have to protect the surface you're working on. I do that with a simple silicone mat that's made for baking. And that's perfect to protect from the hot fire. So don't use plastic. You can also use metal if you want to do that. But silicone is nice. You can peel off the wax from the mat. And that is great. And then I want to talk a little bit more about... Yeah, that is something I just realized that I need. Lighting! From the beginning I used just ordinary light and you can do that but it's very yellow. So I realized that when I was painting during evenings and I wanted to watch my painting the next day it didn't look so great. You need different kind of lighting. So buy LED light bulbs that are made for daylight lightning and that is about 6000 Kevin so make sure that the light is pretty white and not yellow at all and don't buy anything expensive those are just cheap IKEA lamps that are just a light bulb you have to buy that is daylight lightning and then some more this is not really what you have to have but I like to have an easel when I'm looking at my paintings because when you do it encaustic, the texture and everything close up looks magical because you have to work on a flat surface or else the wax will just pull off, you know. But then it's great to just pick up your painting, put it flat on a wall or, or on an easel and back up a quite big bit so you really can see how the painting looks like from a little bit distance because that's the composition that has to hold together. Now you can see my paintings on the wall. I like to see my paintings that I've recently done. You can have them on a wall like this just with a simple nail if you don't have an easel but some kind of way to see your painting from, from a bit of a distance. And behind you maybe saw that I have a little bit shelf with some tools and some equipment that I use for painting. How this looks at your home, well, only you can decide how you want to have it. But you see that my space is actually quite small, but it has worked for years, so it doesn't have to have much more than this. But one thing I want to speak about, and that is ventilation. Uh, when you're talking about beeswax, it's really not toxic. If you keep it below 90 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not toxic, but still there are particles constantly emanating from the wax. It's not toxic, but it's like being in a dirty industrial environment with soot and other kind of things that are not good for your health in the long run. So it's not really dangerous when you're just painting every now and then. Just open a window and that will be enough. But if you really really like this you have, 
have to just think about some kind of mechanical ventilation. And just don't think about yourself, hi cats. Think about your children or anybody in your home. Those particles will be in the breathing air all the time, especially if you have your studio at your home. So really consider this because it can give you health issues in the long run. So I want to show you my ventilation. It's really simple and not that expensive. You see this metal tube? You can easily install this yourself. My hubby did this for me. Beside the tube I have a silencer because I don't want so much sound from the ventilation. You don't have to have that, but you have to have some electrics where you can adjust the speed of the fan and follow me through my house. I'm going to show you the outside device. And there you have the fan itself, just a small neat box, not expensive at all. But ordinary fans that are made for the toilet or so will not work, they're not strong enough. So buy this in some kind of company that sells uh, industrial ventilation. Hello friends, oh isn't it so cute, my dogs and cats. Surely you want to be really, really careful what you're doing so you're not harming them. Well, and now a little bit more about safety. A fire extinguisher, you have to have that, and somewhere up there about some water if you get a burn. Well, this hot plate is not that really hot, so the most of the burns I got is from my gas burner, especially this metal part. Ooh, you can really get some nasty burns from that one. But the wax itself is really not so hot, so you know you stick your finger in it, it will mm, feel, but you won't get burns, that is really great. I even once get hot wax in my face and nothing actually happened. But always, always be careful, especially if you have children around, of course. And one time, you know, accidents happen. I had my door open and some paper here and I was burning and everything caught on fire. So that day I was really happy I had something close by to extinguish the fire. Yeah, well, that's the most part I can tell you about my little studio and about safety. I hope you learned something from this and yeah, follow me with me in my journey to the next chapter.